Hello there. Bit of a deceiving day yesterday. Some lovely welcome sunshine, certainly, but strong gusts of wind, gale force gusts, severe gales in places. You can see fair isles with 86 mile an hour recorded, but generally we were seeing those wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. The wind strength stays with us through the day today, but at least, again, we will see some sunshine. Now, if you're up and off early enough, you might get some rain for a time. It's arriving as we speak. It's continuing to track steadily further east, but it will start to ease away towards dawn and then behind it, quite a substantial clearance. So I suspect early birds across the north of England starts off quite dry. Pretty gusty winds here, though, 50 mile an hour gusts likely, and there will be a few sharp showers developing later on in the day. Early morning rain eases away to some sunshine and a blustery morning in that southeast corner, nine degrees at eight o'clock in the morning. A few showers pushing in across the west facing coast, perhaps, and through um, parts of South Wales too. But nevertheless, that cloud should continue to break up. There'll be some sunshine here. For Northern Ireland, it's a breezy start to the day, but six degrees, but some sunny spells to compensate. Slightly disappointing start across a central belt of Scotland. And yes, there will be some wintriness into the hills here as well. To the north of that, it's much colder air and here a touch of frost in the extreme far north. Now, as the day continues, the winds will strengthen yet again. It's going to be driving in some pretty sharp showers across the north of England and the Midlands by the afternoon. Elsewhere, the sunny spells continue, our band of rain slicing through central Scotland. To the north of that, it stays cold with four or five degrees. To the south, a little milder, but it will be tempered, the feel of the weather, by the strength of the wind. Now, that's how we say goodbye to Thursday. But as we move towards uh, Friday, we've got another area of low pressure moving in. And just how far north uh, this rain will come is, again, in question of uh, 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 some doubt. But there will be some wet weather. And on the leading edge of that, there could be a bit of wintriness across the Welsh hills as well. It will continue to track further east, leaving the southeast corner during the afternoon on Friday. To the north, it stays quite cold with a few wintry showers here as well. The cold air will start to win over as we move into the weekend. So Saturday, a chilly day, again with a cold wind. Sunday, some more cloud and rain arrives. So let's look at that in just a little more detail. You can see that colder feel to things, but some lovely sunshine. By the time we move towards Sunday, heavy rain and stronger winds yet again. Take care.